Go back 611. Well, it's summertime and many of us are excited to break out the rod and reel and get out and maybe head for a nice, uh, nice spot. But some major changes are being made statewide when it comes to the hunting and fishing licenses. Taylor Tool is joining us from Rotary Point this morning where she's getting answers for us from the Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries about what those changes are. Good morning, Taylor. Good morning, Dave. Good morning, Katie. And good morning, Acadiana. I am here with Mr. Gabe Giffen with LDWF. That's right. He's going to be telling us about some changes. I hear these licensing changes are the first in about 20 years. Long overdue. Since about 2001, I think, was the last time we'd had a license change. And frankly, it was time for us to get with the times. Um, we had a lot of licenses and a lot of gear licenses that went with those licenses. And we've kind of modernized and streamlined a lot of our licenses where you're not having to spend so much money on all these different licenses. Instead, it's just a one-stop shop. You get your basic fishing license, maybe add a saltwater fishing license on top of that, just like you used to, but not so much of the gear licenses that go with it. I hear you. And you said, um, you know, while this might seem like a bit of a jump, you know, people might be a little shocked as we head into summer. It's actually for the better, not only for LDWF, but for the consumer. It is totally. So in years past, if you bought a fishing license, say in June, it was expiring shortly thereafter. July 1st, all our licenses would start anew. Now it's a 365 day license. So what I mean by that is if you were to buy your license today, it will last until this time next year. And then again, modernizing our licensing system, you can auto renew just like you would any other pay service. So now when say June 2nd rolls around next year, you could select to have an auto debit and there's your fishing license ready for the 2023 already. I hear you, I hear you. And uh, this is also hunting as well. Um, and then, you know, I know Dave Baker's big into crabbing and he's got questions for you. So what does that mean for the people that like crabbing? That's very important. We want people to know in Louisiana, you still can go crabbing anywhere you want along any roadside, but you do need a new crabbing license. It's a $5 license. This is a very, very cheap license considering you typically can take about 12 dozen crabs out of the water from where you're going. But we want everyone to know about these license changes. These are new. They just went into effect. So we're trying to get our public up to date with all that. And as we mentioned, yes, $5 is your new crabbing license. Very important for our crabbers that like to just go out on the weekends with their grandkids and stuff. Yeah, it's a great it's a great tradition I hear. I'd like to go out and try crab and I haven't done that yet. But is there anything else we need to know as far as this goes? What are the repercussions if you're caught without the proper licensing? Well, at first we just want to get people educated, you know, so our wildlife agents will, of course, be educating our public out there, letting them know, making sure that they do have their updated licenses, kind of letting them know about some of these new digital licenses we have. L.A. Wallet, you can incorporate your license onto there. So we're again, we're here to educate people first and foremost, and we want people to have a good time in the outdoors. You know, that's our utmost priority is safety, having a good time, and keeping the resources abundant here in Louisiana. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for explaining that for us. And I know everybody's waiting for us to get in on that water. So we're going to be doing that here shortly. But for now, I'm live in Lafayette, Taylor Tool, KATC TV3.